Wave 1 Adventures, ISO 8. Uh, that's it. It's real simple, right? The Wave 1 Avengers are a unique team in that they are really pretty decent in the early game, and then they have value in the mid to late game, uh, but more often than not, they splinter off. So you might start with a Wave 1 Avengers style team, uh, and then Iron Man gets pulled over to the Power Armor team, and Thor gets pulled over to the Asgardians, and then you move things around and shake them around. They truly are like a Swiss Army Knife team, but... Uh, as it, at its core, there are some things that don't change, regardless of what version of the comp. So, pretty much no matter what, when you're talking about Wave 1 Avengers, the core of the team will always be Captain America, Black Widow, and Hawkeye hiding right behind me. There he is. Uh, and that's the core of the team. Now, you can include Hulk, you can include Thor, Iron Man. They, they set up slightly different uh, setups. Like, one team might be better on offense than one on defense. Uh, Thor is always better at every time if you're including him in the team, but if you move oh, Thor to Asgardians, Iron Man is totally sufficient to carry the team over. So, taking a quick look, we'll start with Hawkeye. Hawkeye, I have set just simply to damage. Um, most of it is because he can use a little bit extra attacking. Uh, a lot of his attacks are unavoidable to begin with, which is kind of adorable. He has a pretty decent amount of crit chance on his attacks, so Raider is absolutely totally valuable on him do not worry about putting raider on him it works very well um but what i found is as i'm using him with black widow specifically they're constantly playing off each other and those assists don't really crit because those assists don't have a chance to crit or at least i haven't seen it uh, i want the most possible damage for that purpose i like striker just a little bit better but again Deadeye is almost a guaranteed uh, uh, hit. Actually, all of the attacks are guaranteed hit. Because they're all guaranteed hits, gives Raider a lot of value. He has a slight increased crit chance and crit damage on this basic. You're probably not using it too much, but again, extra value out of Black Widow. Concussive Arrow, no extra crit chance. Pretty decent use of ability, but it is a multi-hit. So again, a really good opportunity to use Raider. I know I have Striker on it. I'm telling you, Raider is totally viable and useful and might even be better uh, than what I'm using. So just throwing that out there. Totally a reasonable setup. Uh, Airburst hits everybody. No notes, Raider. You've heard me say it. Shot in the dark can't crit, but it is unavoidable. So there's a chance, you know? There's a chance you, you can get a little bit of value. Um, that's it. You don't really need Skirmisher, Concussive Arrow... Uh, does a good enough job of clearing the buffs, plus Black Widow on her own does a good enough job of clearing the buffs, so not necessary. Um, I will say the extra focus from stuff like Airburst and Cusivero at Skirmisher 5 might be a different conversation, but for him, it's like Raider, Striker, both reasonable depending on how you build the team out and how many Tier 4s you're willing to invest in them. Just keep in mind, if you do go pretty deep down the pool, of Raider, say you get all five ranks of ISO 8 and Raider, and then you decide you do want to swap to something else, it still is going to cost like 75,000 ions to invest all the way up the next tier. So there is a cost, it's not unreasonable, it's not going to kill you, but it is there. Uh, moving to Iron Man, no changes really, uh, except now uh, he gives extra crit to all allies, they don't get the full crit that a tech ally would gain but they do get the extra so crit still works well for him as well as the rest of the team because nothing changes rocket barrage still can't be uh, uh, blocked it actually does a little bit more base damage so the crit will increase it by a significant amount um nothing changes here it doesn't get a little bit better or worse uh based on what team he's on so i don't have to go into too much on that hulk uh, Hulk can go in a lot of directions. The only one I wouldn't recommend on him is Protector. Uh, Protector, as always, tends to work better on characters that are squishier than on characters that are already tanky, because tanky characters can become more tanky by clicking buttons and putting gear on them. Uh, if you're using an early prote like Fortifier at round one, totally reasonable. Uh, he is a damage dealer, but questionable one of the things i found is healer on him is actually insane one there's some tier fours that are required to make that work uh when an enemy attacks a wave one avenger he gets more speed bar 
Hulk does take quite a bit of turns, especially when his character goes down a little bit. Um, and of course, we have tier fours that make it a little bit quicker. Rage, clear negative effects. If this character is health above 70%, heal 7,000 plus 20% of max health, which of course gets benefit from healer. Hulk does have a pretty decent health pool, and it gets more and more as you invest more and more into him. So it's not unreasonable to put healer on him as a way to sustain your entire team, especially early on as you're trying to do some of the raid content in the game. He is a very reasonable healer character. There's another one that could be healer too. Instead of him, I just would never do both. And I don't think that giving him crit is that relevant. I don't think that giving him skirmisher does much for your roster. And I don't think that uh, you know pure damage is the best thing you can do on him. Unless he happens to be a ridiculous amount of red stars. And even at that point, he's just healing for more. Black Widow gets a little bit cuter. I have her set the skirmisher mostly for the focus. Uh, the idea that as, as time goes on, you will eventually five it and she will have focus. Other than that, increasing her crit is very good. She does have a pretty decent chain in her Widow's Bite, but Camouflage does not target anything. So it that won't affect Skirmisher, doesn't actually do damage, does clear negative effects from self. Her, Shield, Avengers all get speed up, blah, blah, blah. Nothing really changes here. This is actually a really cute one. Clear one negative effect at tier four. It's right here anyway. So you shouldn't have to worry too much about that. It's reasonable. Uh, sabotage itself, again, I like the idea of Skirmisher on her when Hawkeye has Vulnerable because, or Striker, because then Hawkeye will target a character. She will assist him putting a Vulnerable target on the character. Hawkeye will then see that vulnerable and get his second bonus attack, doing extra damage and removing the vulnerable. It just kind of works out very well. If you did put uh, Raider on Hawkeye, it's fine. You'll be fine. It's not a big deal. So I just like this for how I've built the team. Raider on her, pure damage on her, and uh, that's pretty much it. You really don't need Fortifier. She's she's uh, in, in the IT industry, we have something called like security through obscurity you really can't hit her too often uh as she's in dodge she can't be targeted she really is only weak to aoe's it's unlikely that uh, she's going to get one shot by any aoe she should be fine uh, then we go into captain america captain america i have him set to skirmisher because i want him to be able to basic characters down and, and get a little bit of value on that even though uh, he does have a clear on this throw uh, i'm a little afraid to use this throw reliably some people will justify putting healer on captain america i think you have to put quite a bit of resources into him as this is a gear tier 13 captain america and he has almost half of the health pool of a significantly weaker hulk He's also not as speedy as Hulk. He doesn't take as many turns as Hulk. At the beginning of the game, when he's using his shield throw and inspire, absolutely. Uh, you know, he's generating speed bar, etc., etc. But he's not doing that often enough that you're going to get the most out of the heal. So uh, that's pretty much everything when it comes to Captain America. You can make a justification for Fortifier if you really just want him saying. But again, I don't think Fortifier works on tanks uh, as good as maybe investment can, but I understand sometimes you just need a little bit more survivability, especially in the early game. I like Skirmisher on him. I could justify maybe Striker, but between those two and if Healer's on the team, he's a great healer if you don't have Hulk present. And why wouldn't you have Hulk present? Because of the next character because you have Thor, because you're going full offensive setup. Uh, Thor does not change. Also, Thor is a damage dealer. His base damage stat is pretty ridiculous. Uh, and God of Thunder's passive, which is when he attacks after a number of Asgardians or Wave 1s are targeted, five, uh, that doesn't crit. Because it doesn't crit, I want its base damage to be higher. You can justify quite a bit of, of other things skirmisher is actually very reasonable on him because of hammer throw and hammer uppercut uh, you can also justify raider just from the fact that these attacks do hit multiple characters 
There's no right or wrong answer. I just find that damage does increase the best thing that Thor does, which is free damage that you get for just, you know, surviving through the fights. Um, and that's pretty much it when it comes to the Wave 1 Avengers. Now, you want to talk about... Thank you. You want to talk about the different possibilities uh, that you see when you put this team together? Well, like I said, Cap, Black Widow, and Hawkeye tend to be the core three of the team. Uh, then it just comes down to who you have left. Sometimes it's Hulk and a random S.H.I.E.L.D. character, like Nick Fury or Coulson. Sometimes it's uh, no Hulk but Thor and Iron Man to go full offense. Uh, either way, I don't think much changes uh, as far as what you put on the characters outside of what I've already said to you. You know, Hawkeye can get Raider easily. Black Widow can easily get Raider as well. Hulk can become a striker. Captain America can become a healer. This is, this is really just one of the cool things about a modular team like the Wave 1 Avengers. There is no one correct answer. You just do what you got to do. Anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know specifically earlier players. Players who've been playing the game for maybe a couple of months that have invested in their Wave 1 Avengers. What have you found worked with ISO 8s on these guys? Especially for some of the earlier raids. Now, obviously, it's not right to build your teams for U4 and U5 because you're only spending such a small amount of time in there, but maybe you found that, you know, at level one, this team worked really well with certain sets. Well, anyway, comment below, let me know how that works out. Have a good night, have a great day. I've been Tony Skinjuli, and I'll catch you later.